Good morning, Indy. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Good morning. Oh, let's say good morning to the other animals. Oh, hello. What's up, everybody? What's up? Good, good, good morning. Good morning. What's up? Welcome to the vlog this morning. So today we've got. Oh, it's very echoey in here. I need to put pants on. Put some pants on. Um, so this morning we are we're doing quite a few things today. Actually, I'm not following you. Follow me. Let me sit down. Let me sit down. We're doing quite a few things today. Um, you know, actually, we are hopefully doing quite a few things today. We're gonna go over to the shop and do some Turbo MX-5 building, which hopefully goes okay. Um, Jen's gonna be my apprentice today and hopefully do some work. But the goals for today, I'm gonna say, I want the intercooler brackets done. So by the end of the day, I want intercooler brackets. Like, I want the intercooler mounted. Um, I want that looking like fresh. So I want intercooler brackets made. We're gonna custom make them. Um, maybe the roll bar installed on the NB, um, which would be pretty cool. Because in about a month, I have a drift event and I really want that roll bar installed. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else, but we're gonna do lots of things. So, let's do it. What are you doing? You cheeky Ted. Oh, yes. The other week when I went to Lakeside, no, when I went to Mount Cotton, I had to put my stock exhaust back on. So I've been driving around for like, three weeks with a stock, like fully stock exhaust on. So my car has been sounding like some rank ass grandma spec car with like sparkos and wheels on it. And just, it's just not right. It's not right. Because it's got no noise. It's just like, like it's not, you know what I mean? You need sound in your car and it's been quiet this whole couple weeks. So anyway, the first thing we're doing is we, we gotta go to Buddings really quickly because I didn't bring any of my hex bits home from work. And to get these things off, I need hex bits. And we can't install a roll bar without taking the hard top off. So hard mount life. Anyway, let's go to Buddings. It feels weird, I'm wearing a snap-on shirt. We're gonna go buy some pink chrome tools. Wrong. I feel I'm like I'm doing something wrong. Are you excited to go to Bunnings? No. Oh my gosh. I'm so pumped. Da -da -da -da. Uh, that's what I need. Alright, we got them. I just got an unbelievable amount of tools for $52. You can get one of them at Snap On for $52. Oh yeah, I could probably get the 10 mil one for 50 bucks. We have to make that fit under there, so. Just take my quick release bumper off. I wouldn't advise trying that at home. So that, pretty much exactly where it needs to sit. So we need to draw up a bracket design. Um, so we've got the inner cooler like that. There are the two mounting points. So I need that length, which is 31. So I need a piece that's probably plus two and a half on each side. So like, let's say 37 centimeters for that piece. And then I kind of need a piece that um, goes like that. So we need to cut a piece up. That's approximately 18 centimeters with the bend probably want to start out at about 25 so i'll probably cut them at about 25 centimeters each and then yeah these will be like 2.5 that'll be like 17 to 20 and that'll be 2.5 and then we'll have both of them sitting up like there with holes there and holes there and then it should hopefully sit the in a cooler like that. Now, fun fact. So a lot of people that run their inner cooler really far forward in the bumper to get the really cool aesthetic look. That looks sick. But what you're doing there is creating such a bad aerodynamic flow that all the wind is gonna be passing through the inner cooler 
and then because there's a gap between the intercooler and the radiator, the air goes through and then down and then up and then around, and not enough actually goes through the radiator to actually cool the car down. So if you actually want, if you have like cooling issues and your intercoolers run spread apart from the radiator, just remount it, slammed up against the rad and the air will go through the cooler fins and then through the rad fins and actually cool your car properly. Hot tip of the day. Pretty much making your own brackets is easy. Piece of cake, mate, piece of cake. We're just gonna mark out exactly where we need to, cut them, draw them, bend them in the vise, and we should be good to go. I'm gonna overcut because I don't wanna undercut. We've only got one piece of alloy. Safeties and safeties. You need to be safe when using power tools. Magnificent. Yes, that's what we like. Perfect. The other brackets need to be, look at my architecturally advanced designs. About 25 centimeters. How does he pull on just? Drill bit I've ever used. <laughs> Voila. Beautiful. Absolutely pristine quality, that is. Wow, they're like the perfect size as well. I need to bend it a little less. Moody. Like zoinks, man. Like man. Ooh, that smoothie tastes so good. <laughs> oh, getting there. We should make sure that the bonnet release mech doesn't touch it. I reckon it's in the box. Ah, oh, sweet. Pivots forward. So it's like that. We'll sit there. Sick. Have to do some final. Bends, I think. Ow. That off. Now I don't I actually expect it to fit the first time. <laughs> Kinda done. Kinda. Then you have to do the bottom. Well, who? Any cooler brackets. Easy. Even you could do it. Mm. You can maybe make it better than I could. Mm. But it still sits there. Looks good. <sighs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is where we'll end this one. Um, you know, we did get something done today. I got the inner cooler completely. Not completely, but I got it mounted in a position where it actually stays there without me having to have a jack underneath it. As you can see, it's just sitting nicely there. Um, so that will probably be its final position. It won't be mounted any further forward, but I think that looks pretty good. And in the next couple of weeks, I'll have to make um, some brackets for the bottom. But um, right now, I just wanted it to sit in there without you know, me having to actually support it so that I can see where I'm going to route piping and route all the other things. So I'm pretty happy with that and I didn't actually have to redo anything. All I did was drill holes once, measure once and it actually all fit which was super awesome. But thank you for tuning into this one guys. I really appreciate uh, the people that are watching these videos. Don't forget to like, sub and share. Do whatever you want and that'll be it. Carl out.